Right then. Uh, before you read the story, Liquidy, uh, is it about safe for me to just run straight to the uh, castle? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can run right past the, uh, the spider ladies. Oh, this is a long one, too. I never worked fast food. Well, I did work at a deli. But I worked nine plus years of customer service, so I consider anyone in a minimum wage job that deals with the public a brother at arms. This incident happened a few months ago at a Little Caesars in San Antonio. It's 9.30 at night, and since the hubby was out of town, I decided to go get some quick trash food. I walk in, and the guy at the counter tells me uh, pizzas are cooking, but they don't have any fresh and ready to go. That's fine. I sit down next to another customer waiting and mess around on my phone while I wait. About three or four minutes later, a petite woman walks in, dressed in what looks like industry work clothes, old and tattered, talking about how she has to make her bus. Guy explains to her that he doesn't have any pizzas right now, and the lady starts to grumble, then walks away from the counter and turns back. This is when I put down my cell phone. You know how you can see a customer starting to work and wind themselves up? Their entire body tenses, and their shoulders inch up towards their ears, and then their voice gets all squeaky. I could feel her... I could feel her rant... Uh, coming. And I was so excited because, oh hell no, no one gets to be a jerk to workers when I'm around. I get to fight with someone who's being an asshole. <laughs> and because, guess what's gonna happen? Can't get me fired or call my manager. The lady starts by first asking the guy at the counter nicely about Little Caesar's policy of having pizzas hot and ready. He apologizes again and tries to explain that they just had a big rush and there would be fresh pizzas in 15 minutes. Also, it was almost closing time, so it made sense that they didn't have a full uh, warmer of pizzas. The lady's tone changes as she tries to hammer the point again by asking him over and over if the policy of Little Caesars means there needs to be fresh pizza at all times. And I finally say to her, Hey, can you leave the poor dude alone already? He ain't magic. He can't magic you a pizza. You can ask him the same question 20 times 90 different ways, but that ain't gonna get you a pizza. She turns and tells me that it's none of my business, and I politely point out that since I have to sit here and listen to her badger the poor kid over impossible ideal pizza promises, yeah, it kinda is my business. Every time she yells about how it's his job to make sure there's pizza, I keep telling her how delusional and unrealistic that is. We both start yelling and cursing at one another until she finally leaves, after one last failed ploy trying to garner sympathy, uh, sympathy from the other customer, appealing to him about how it is the guy behind the counter's job to have fresh pizzas ready. Other customer ignores her completely. The dude behind the counter is so grateful he wants to give me free stuff and tells me uh, to drop his name whenever I come in. I was just happy to provide a much-needed public service, so I declined, and I also never cashed in on that. Well, okay then. I just really liked the uh, phrase, he ain't magic, he can't magic you a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good phrasing there. Yeah. Ah, I see you found the library. Before you, now, uh, I... before you go too far, you're gonna want to hang a left because there is a shortcut. Yeah, I thought so. I just wanted to uh, do something about these ghosts. There's a, uh, there's a lot of them. I, I promise you, they're <laughs> not going anywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of ghosts, and uh, hopefully you're still looking at it. But you see that staircase behind the ghost you just shoved up. Okay, yeah, you just shoved that ghost up a staircase. You should take a running yep. jump off of that staircase. A after uh, you, uh... Yeah, get your shortcut set up first, and then do what I told you. <laughs> okay. In the meantime... Where is that thing? Uh, giving instructions on a delay. Great. Oh, I, I, think, I, I think I get what that is. 
I have a feeling you uh, probably know what that one is, yes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the register. Yep. <laughs> Look, there you go. I would recommend going back. I don't know if you realize that you have 45,000 souls. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, I am actually going to run back real quick. Uh, this elevator is not tying to my skirt. <laughs> well, at least you're wearing pants underneath, right? Yes. Oh, gosh, so immodest. <laughs> No, it's fine. You've got pants on. You're you're set. You're solid. I knew there was a reason I kept pants on. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll go pump some blood tinge. Is that probably not a bad idea? Uh, well, check to see what you need first. Yeah, I, I'd go for the minimum requirement because blood tinge isn't exactly. Uh... <laughs> Great. Yeah. Say, so, yeah. in, in all honesty, you're probably not going to ever use the gun part of the Raider Falash, but you know. Yeah, I am just right now. I'm two blood tinge off, so <laughs> I need. I'm gonna go pop some souls. <laughs> Albus says there are usually multiple reasons to keep pants on. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's also worth pointing out, we are walking around in a very snowy and cold castle. It would be a shame to not have proper pants, even if you are going to wear the nice noble dress over it. <laughs> Wouldn't want your legs to get cold. Try oh, right, that's, where th that's what the abandoned old workshop is. Oh, right, yeah. Not that you have a reason to go back there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just. I saw the area and I forgot what that was. Am I not able to send this elevator down? Oh no, I can't. Yeah. Okay, so which one of these stair things do you want me to jump off of? The first one or the second one? Second one, probably. What? I completely forgot this game had durability. Oh. Uh-oh. What did you do? I'm at... Oh. I'm at 60 out of 200. I think I'll be fine. Weapon at risk. Oh, dear. Yeah, we wouldn't want to break that. I mean, it's your only whip in an honest Castlevania. No, 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 not that one. <laughs> I probably said that right. Nope, never mind, you're about to fight a ghost. Oh! Wait, what's throwing knives at me? Uh -huh. What is that on my head? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Although those ghosts seem real interested in you now, all of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, real interested. One second. Ooh, ooh. I'm fine, don't worry. <laughs> Just let me enter a text real quick.
Yeah, that staircase. Evelyn, hey, is that a gun? It's a gun! Now, where have we seen a projectile weapon with a name similar to that before? Was it Dark Souls 2? Or every Dark Souls game. I don't know, it must have been my imagination. <laughs> I legitimately can't remember which game the Evelyn is in. It, it's in all of them. It's the, the it's spelled with an A instead of a... Oh! Yeah, Avalon, I guess, if you pronounced it that way. Nothing but secrets here. It's true. Nothing but sobbing here. It's true. <laughs> I can't dispute either of these things. library so many books yeah no seriously you could just spend hours up here no kidding man i wonder if you can find the librarian's room and like buy stuff from him or do you think he only trusts alucard um probably oh that's not where i want to be Ooh, no, no, don't be there. Why does everything in Castlevania have so much HP? Well, maybe if you were using something a little beefier, you wouldn't have be having this problem. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't doubt that, but... In all fairness, it's slightly possible we brought you here early, but bringing you to Castlevania as soon as possible was important. I mean, you seem to be handling yourself fine, so, you know... I don't like these rapier guys. They are a bit obnoxious, yes. You you can parry also... them. Chances are I'm gonna get a knife throw at me and uh, miss my chance. That's a ladder. That is a ladder. But unfortunately, it's just out of reach. Oh, if only. Say, I, I like. I don't know if the message will be there, but uh, I know in my game what the message was, was like, "Beware of fatty." There. <laughs> oh yeah, glorious. Also, the the pro thing about uh, trying to parry them is if you miss the parry timing, you still knock them flat on their ass. So. It's funny. So they're allergic to gun in general. Got it. Seems that way. I am probably not going to remember that. Well, Just like how I don't remember that dogs are allergic to gun. I mean, to be fair, why would you really bother shooting them at all? No, no, watch them flail about. It's kind of funny. I might be a little cruel. <laughs> <laughs> a little? Also, you can never truly run out of bullets, for you can just press up on the D-pad and stab yourself five more bullets. Real, yeah, I guess I could. Real nice-like. Uh, am I safe to drop here? Well, I guess so, because so, I see an item right here with more bullets. <laughs> oh. Hey, more, bu more bullets are important. Hey, more bullets, more gun shoots. 
you know, for, for the enemies that are weak to gun. So what gets the gargoyles on their back? Just hitting them when they're like, when they um, don't have all four limbs on the ground? Yeah, you have to knock them off balance. Yep. Whether that's by, you know, poking them when they're about to attack or hitting them particularly hard. Yeah. Okay. Looks like I could drop from here, but I don't think I should. Mm. Not yet. Did these ghosts? Oh no! What is going on? <laughs> ah, see, I see you found the banshee. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yep, banshees are pretty rude. And honestly, it's a really impressive use of lungs, given that. You know, the, the screamy bits aren't attached to the lungs anymore. Yeah? I'm sure that's normal. I'm uh, quite interested in how you're managing to uh, rip out these uh, ghosts' guts, if we're being honest. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ghost guts. Oh, that's a banshee. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're basically impossible to tell apart from a distance, so they just put a whole bunch of them together. That's another banshee, and I someone threw a knife at me some at some point. <laughs> oh, I love Kanehurst. <laughs> this place is so full of dick moves. Ah, I see you have found the best shirt. Uh, it's really the best outfit in general, especially for a guy, but... Yeah, I, I prefer it on the, the male characters, but it's it's pretty good for ladies, too. Yeah, the, um... the, the shirt is still amazing, but the uh, the pants leave a lot to be desired. And uh... Okay, this is a bad place to stick banshees. Two banshees right next to each other. Come on! <laughs> To answer Albus's question, uh, I believe the ghosts do not actually cover you in blood. Do the Banshees do anything other than, uh, freeze me? Uh, nope. I think that's their only... No, yeah, not that I'm aware of. It's just that, you know, there's always other ghosts around. Or, you know, the little guys who are quite happy to stick something in you. Yeah. Okay, now that they, those are gone, let's check out the night garb. You may recognize it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? What? This guy seems to be twitching. Hey, he's probably fine. I'll just leave him be. But yeah, uh, that's why on the uh, the lady outfit anyway, I try to find a hat that covers the collar because I I really don't like the neck frill. Ooh yeah, that's a. Uh... It's bad. Uh, yeah, that looks that that just looks silly. Most of the rest of the outfits great, but that neck frill really does not sell it. Yeah, uh, I guess since I got it, let's check out the executioner stuff too. The executioner stuff is kind of boring, to be honest. It's really good stat-wise, but it's... Isn't this what that guy was wearing? Have I seen this before? I, I forgot his yeah, name. Yeah, I, th 
think that's what um Alfred. Alfred. Alfred, yes. I'm pretty so, sure that's what he's wearing. Sir Mutton Chop. So, <laughs> so he's an executioner then. He seems so friendly. Hmm. Right. So should I just drop from here then? I mean, you don't have a whole lot of other choice. Unless you prefer death. Like, or you could just backtrack and leave the castle with a broken bridge to the exit. Trying to see. Where is it? Hmm. Do you drop in or do you continue? Well, I see a lever, so... <laughs> Time to scout it out with your monocular. Okay. That looks like a shortcut. That's because it is. 